Hey guys, this is Cheryl Spangler. I wanted to talk today about how to hire the right person to help you with your real estate business. Whether it's ad creation for Facebook, uh, Google, Instagram, AdWords, whether it's social posting, researching brochures, uh, postcards, virtual assistant stuff, transaction coordinator, like anything. It was so frustrating for me because I love doing this stuff. Like I love doing, you know, graphic creation, but so handing it off to someone else was kind of painful for me until, until I found this one method. Okay. So whatever you need, I recommend you go to freelancer.com, but you can do this also on Odesk, um, which I know actually that that's recently been bought out by another company. There's a couple, I mean, like you could go to Fiverr, but here's why I go to freelancer.com. So I'm gonna sh let you like kind of behind the scenes on some things that I've been creating. But basically, you go to freelancer.com and you may you don't even have to you just you don't even have to actually um, like if I view my profile and show you right here, you don't have to actually be someone who's you know on freelancer like I have nothing filled out in my profile all I did was I verified my phone and connected my Facebook or whatever because I wanted to be able to make payments to people but I mean literally I didn't do anything else on on here I don't have myself set up to do anything but you know if you wanted to do that for yourself you could so when you go to freelancer I'm gonna pull up a project that I have and I want to tell you why this is so amazing um, Okay, what? All right, hold on a second. <laughs> okay, so my projects. So up here in the very top, it's my projects. Now, I'm going to show you one that I just posted today, actually. It was, I want, I knew in my head what I wanted this graphic to be created called a real estate sales funnel. And I just needed someone to do it for me. I have other things to do. I'm out, you know, I'm actively working with many, many buyers and sellers. And I do the Rich Niche Academy stuff. So I don't want to mess with every tiny little thing that has to be created. Um, so anyway, this website, freelancer.com, allows you to do something called a contest. And you probably, you might already know about all this. But basically, uh, right now I have nothing open. I have nothing work in progress. Um, I have some past, this is a project. If you choose to post a project and someone, uh, you know, and then a bunch of people apply and you choose someone. But in my case, I have still not been happy with people I've chosen, even though I look at their portfolios and I look at their examples and all this stuff. It's like, I still find someone that claims to be one thing and they're really another. So I did contests. And let me tell you the trick on contest. Um, so let me just give you an example that's not real estate related. I needed a Facebook ad created or wanted one created for my son where I made him a website. So he, uh, he has a business and this is his, this is his business, generic repair company.com. And it was like, we need to drive traffic to this. So this is no different than driving traffic and do I do. I use these people for Facebook ads for myself. And so basically what I did was I knew these people could go out to this website and look at all the stuff to see what he does. He obviously fixes small engines and there's a video that he did and these are all the things that he fixes and you know, these are the most recent projects that he's fixed. This is locally here. Uh, so this is like a local business. So the point is that the website is there for someone who's doing creation to look at. And in this case, uh, it was, uh, let's see, create Facebook ad that brings results leads for a small business. So I posted that as a contest and you can see here the 26 people actually entered and created a Facebook ad for me. Two were still yet to post what they created, but I went ahead and chose the winner because um, but I want to show you something amazing. Like I did this for, this is a contest that ran for four days and anyone who sees your keywords can 
um, you know, create something for you and post it. And if you like it, you choose them as the winner and then you pay out. So mine, I said $25. Um, I wanted this ad created. So undoubtedly the very first person that enters their creation, it was horrible. And I want to show you, um, I want to show you like, okay, so this one was the very first ad that was created. Don't have time, skills, expertise. We liked like that the words were here, but I mean, the, this is so cartoony remedial. I mean, I don't know. It's, and basically what you do is you make comments. This is a generic toolbox, which doesn't tell the customer much going to reject this ad. Like basically you comment publicly on the ads that are created until the day comes that you get to choose the winner. And this was the second one they did. Um, one was the toolbox and then the other was his name. Well, we started looking at the things people were creating and we realized we don't, you know, customers don't care about your name, okay? Just like real estate agents, they don't care about your name. They care about what are you solving? What is the problem you're solving for them? So let me just scroll through some of them that were created. Um, this one was created and it was like it's disappointing right in the beginning because these days go by a day or two might go by and like these terrible choices are are proposed and you're just like this is not gonna work this is what's been happening to me until I did the contest at the last day you get like the best stuff and so see how I wrote here not sure you guys realize Facebook rules I felt like this ad actually um, was gonna be dinged by Facebook because it had too much text in it, because they do that. And she actually posted it on Facebook and showed me that Facebook was gonna be okay with it. But I didn't like it anyway. I didn't like it anyway. You know, see she has here image text okay for Facebook. So we were still like, oh my God. So then this Tools of Austin Spangler. Okay, well this didn't work because I'm like, well, he's not a lumberjack. I mean, I literally wrote here, going to reject this simply because you didn't take enough time to thoroughly edit the graphic. See here, they picked like a template, access the e-magazine. I mean, if you're gonna use a template off Canva, which I know this is from, at least edit every bit of text, right? So I knew they weren't. Um, plus there's like a space here that's missing. I just. I could see detail orientation wasn't there. Then we got this, but then my son looked at it and he's like, I don't want myself in the photo. And then we were like, why are they putting his name so big? Like that's not even solving the customer's problem. We need them to focus on putting the problem. The problem is that people do not have the skills, tools, or time to fix their small engines. So we kept waiting another day or two went by and then I was like, well, this is good. You know, so I said, you know, I like this ad. Um, you know, but to make fix it now bigger. And then they did this, I like this, but then it still wasn't like perfect. This, I don't know what the heck they're doing. That, you know, and this is the kind of stuff you might get if you just straight up hire someone. So I think the contests are amazing, right? And um, then let's see, what else? That guy probably pulled his back. This one, you know, started getting better. This one started getting better. And then they got really good. And it was like, okay, now we're getting to people who understand what we want the ad to look like. They actually went out to the website. They pulled one of the photos from it. They focused on what people really want to know, which is free pickup, drop off, fix it now. Don't have time, skills, expertise. It was awesome. Like, um, and then let's see, they did some more. This one, no, we didn't like that one. So what happened was at the very end of the last day, basically you end up closing the contest and every single time someone pops in and the perfect thing gets created. This is what we, this is actually, I believe what we ended up with choosing. He, he created these three ads and we loved them. They were, we were like, perfect. Look, he adds everything that needs to be said in there. We're gonna fix it now, fix your small engines. The name is, you know, just not small, free to pick up, drop off. And then he created this one, which we really liked. And so we were like, this is the guy. So this Banesh, you know, this freelancer, did a really good job on the Facebook ads. And so now I'm gonna use them for my real estate Facebook ads. And so we ended up going with these three that we're gonna use, which are the existing 
people's um, small engines he actually fixed. But, and then this one. So it was pretty amazing the difference between the first person who enters and then the last person. So if you guys are looking for someone to create graphics or Facebook ads or anything, I think that you should you know, use freelancer.com. I can show you another project. This is gonna make you laugh. Um, so past contest. So there's a, the real estate funnel. I said, okay, the job is, the contest is one unique graphic of a real estate funnel. And I even did a hand drawing of what I wanted the funnel to look, to look like, actually. Um, you can see in the description, I actually posted, um, oh, you can't tell right now. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can tell. See, I actually drew this out exactly how I wanted it. Like in my mind, I'm like, this is what I need to represent. And so I posted that and I said, you know, I'm looking for someone to create a very simple but effective graphic representing, you know, a real estate funnel. And I gave them like the website and then we got all these entries, but here's the funny thing. Like this was the first, let me do reconsider. This is the first entry that came in. Really? I even gave you a hand drawing of the funnel and that's what they did. And it was like, what? So this was like first. And then it was like, they did, uh, I totally don't mind showing you guys this. It's kind of cool to be able to show you like the progression. And then it was like day two was like this. And I'm like, why did they put the lines? So I kept having to tell everyone that these are gonna be with a transparent background. So I'm, this is not like a piece of paper. Um, this one, this guy worked so hard, so hard, but it's too cartoony for me. And then this woman came in and it was like, okay, I love this, I love this. However, I didn't like these gray lines. Um, I liked the arrows that, that another, now I did like this black and white one, but I decided not to use it, but I might buy it from him because you can buy graphics that aren't chosen afterward for like a reduced price. So I paid the winner $25, but Actually, you can buy afterward for $10. I liked this guy's arrows because it's kind of what mine originally had. So I, these arrows. So I told the woman with the graphic I liked if she, you know, she needed to add arrows and she ended up adding the arrows. And this is the one that I ended up with. This was the winner. And, you know, I love it. It's awesome. It's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. And she gave it to me with a PowerPoint, uh, not PowerPoint, but Photoshop file with background transparent and um, I was very happy so I think you guys should check out freelancer.com for any virtual like these even if you're looking for like a full-time permanent help transaction coordinator or whatever this is the place to go because you can hold contests have them do something for you and the winner is then someone that you're willing to work with just wanted to show you guys all that and hopefully it helps